Hey guys, uh, today we are going to work on our carabiner project. Uh, this is the carabiner pen that we are using as uh, our piece, analysis piece, for our current project. So uh, just to recap, uh, the purpose of this project is to redesign the end piece of this pen. Uh, so right now it's got this little carabiner clip on it, and the goal of the project is to redesign this so that this piece doesn't suck. Uh, it's kind of terrible and it's pretty cheap so uh, we're going to use our 3D modeling skills and our 3D printers to make one that works better. Uh, so today's video I'm going to talk about how to make the pen tip and the pen grip components of this um, using the measurements that we collected in class with dial calipers. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am in on shape. Make sure that when you are in on shape that you always use myips.onshape.com I'm going to go to create and document and I'm going to name this the way that we always name things so your class period so that's going to be 1A or 2A your last name your first name today's date today is the 14th for me and the description which for this is going to be carabiner pen so I'm going to click OK and we'll start our document now I have two windows up on my computer and up on my other window I have the dimensions for each of the components. So I'm going to be referencing that. I'll say those numbers out loud. If you completed the dimensioning assignment already, then you have these measurements already. Your pen might be slightly different because remember these are manufactured components and so your numbers could be off by a couple thousandths of an inch, uh, maybe, uh, maybe more than that depends on how accurately you measured with a caliper. So anyway, I'm going to start a sketch on the front face and I'm going to be using a little bit of a different technique to create this model today. I'm always trying to show you different ways of doing things. So today we're going to use the, the revolve tool to create this. Um, so I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to switch over to construction line and I'm just going to place a line that is much bigger than the actual shape. So you can see I, I've placed it straight up and down on the origin there. It's got a vertical constraint and it's like six inches long. So it's way longer than the tip of the pen. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use the line tool to drop in my first number. I'm going to drop in the bottom of the, of the tip. So that's going to be a horizontal line. And the measurement that I have here for that first distance is uh, let's see. Uh, so I've got the overall diameter of the outside of the pen at 0.239. So I'm actually going to type in 0.239 divided by 2. And I'm going to hit enter there. You can see that's much smaller than it had scaled for. Get out of the line tool there. Whoops. Okay. So now I'm going to put in the vertical line, which is kind of the height of this. So that's going to be 0.561. And then I'm going to put in the top line of the shape. I'm just going to put it just about there. And the value of that line is, uh, it's got an overall diameter of 0.541. So I'm going to type in 0.5, oops. 0.541 divided by 2. Now Onshape will do the math for you, so if you type in a fraction it will it will take that number and, and calculate what its actual value is. So you can see that instead of 0.541 divided by 2, it actually just says 0.271. So now I've got three lines. I've got the top line, the bottom line, and then the height of the piece. And you might be thinking, doesn't this thing have a curve? Why is there a line there? Well, there's a trick that I'm going to use. So We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so the next tool I'm going to use is the three-point arc tool. And I'm going to click the dot on the right side of my top line and the dot on the bottom line. And I'm going to apply a diameter here of uh, 0.855. Okay, so now I've got all of my lines black, but the, the trick here is that there's actually a hole in the bottom of the pen, and it's actually fairly hollow in the, in the pen tip here. 
So I'm going to use the offset tool to create a second line on the bottom of both of these shapes, or oh, sorry, just the one. And I'm going to move it so that it's somewhere in here. It doesn't really matter where I place it because I'm going to define this distance. So I'm just going to click off to the side here to accept that. And then it's going to allow me to change the number. So I'm going to type in 0 0.05 as the offset. That's going to be the thickness of the plastic. The only problem here is that you can see that the tips of this line are blue. It doesn't know where the end of the line is. So I'm going to use the coincident tool to apply a constraint to make it so that this blue point here is touching this top line. And then I'm going to do it again down here so this blue line is touching, uh, actually not doing that, uh, because there is actually a part here that we need to address. So I'm going to make it so that this point is 0 0.05 from the bottom. Now I need to make this connect down here, but there's also going to be a little bit of a cutout in this point. So I'm going to drop a point just kind of that, like right there uh, so that I can dimension it correctly. So this point needs to be 0 0.05 from the vertical line there, from the center edge. And it also needs to be um, on this bottom line. So I'm going to use the coincident constraint to make sure that that happens. Now you may be wondering, why didn't I just drop the point on this line? Well, um, when I was getting ready for this video, I found that when I tried to drop the point there, uh, it kept trying to snap it to the midpoint. And when you try to give it dimensions, on shape freaks out. So I just dropped it in at a random point and then defined it. And sometimes that gets you around on shapes drama. So then I'm just going to take these two and connect them with a line. And you can see that it turned black because it knows all of the other coordinates. So this diagram is fully constrained. If you remember the coffee cup 3D model from semester one, this is an awful lot like that. It's the same idea, except we're not adding the handle. So I finished the sketch, and now I'm going to use this revolve tool right here. And in the revolve menu, it's going to ask me for two things. The first thing it's going to ask for is which face we are revolving. So we're going to select this outside edge here. And then it's going to ask for the revolve axis. And we're going to actually select that construction line that we put in at the beginning. And what you can see is that Onshape has taken that shape and it has moved it 360 degrees around that construction line to form that curved shape. So that is our pen tip. I'm going to go ahead and change its color in the menu here. I'm going to make it white because that's the color that the pen tip on the pen that I'm looking at is. And then I'm going to rename this part studio. I'm going to rename it pen tip. One down, one to go. So I'm going to create a new part studio and I'm going to create the grip. I'm going to go ahead and rename this tab while I'm thinking about it, pen grip. And I'm going to use the same trick here again. So I'm going to use the revolve tool by creating a profile sketch on the front face. So sketch, front, snap my view, construction line through the vertical there, way longer than I need it to be. Add in the bottom line first. According to my measurements, it's 0.541 divided by 2. And that should be the same as our pen tip at the top. Then I'm going to create my vertical line going straight up here, and that's going to have a height of 0.784. Now I've got to add my horizontal line at the top, and the overall thickness I had there was 0.639, and we're going to divide that by 2 since it's from the middle. I'm going to drop this line here. Why are you being picky on shape? Let's try that again. That number was 0.639 divided. 
divided by 2. There we go. So now I should be able to just drop a line connecting these two points, and it's not complaining anymore. Great. We're going to use the offset tool one more time to create the uh, part of the grip on the outside. So I'm just going to just drag it in here, click to the side, press 0.05 connect those points using the coincident tool, click, 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 click. So this this little oops, angled rectangle here is going to make that outside edge of our grip. So I'm going to close my sketch, use the revolve tool, select this, select my axis, and boom, there's the grip. Gonna go ahead and change its color. My pen has this ugly orange going on, so we're gonna use that color. And then one last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go into the assembly tab and I'm gonna drop these models in just to make sure that our measurements are correct. So I'll drop the tip in, drop the grip in, close out of the insert menu. All right, so now I'm gonna select the bottom of this here, right click on my view cube, move this piece to the origin and then I'm going to fix the bottom piece in place so that I can't drag the tip of the pen and I'm going to use the fastened mate to connect the inside diameter of the tip to the inside diameter of the bottom of the grip and as you can see they fit together the way that we would want them to now obviously the inside of this pen is going to be hollow and just like we mentioned in class that's okay because for this project we are pretty much only focused on the outside and just making sure that the carabiner that we redesign doesn't have any issues uh, on the outside of the pen. So that is the first two models of this project. Hopefully that gives you a good starting point. If you have any questions as you're working through these let me know. I will be making more videos as we uh, continue to progress through this project. So hopefully they're helpful for you. I'll see you in class. Bye.